What's up you guys, Steve here with your stimulus check update and stimulus package update and we've got some new information from Congress today regarding the schedule. So in today's video, I'm going to be pulling up the calendar and we're going to be marking it out together so that way we know the exact dates of when this stimulus package is going to pass and when you can expect to see checks hit your bank account. Now yesterday, last we heard, Congress said that this package was going to get passed in the House of Representatives today. It was going to be brought to the floor to get voted on and get passed and then it was going to go on to President Joe Biden to be signed into law either tonight or tomorrow. And they said that if that happened, that the stimulus checks that they would roll out as early as this weekend, this Saturday, because the IRS is actually moving faster than they expected. And they're saying they can get direct deposits out to bank accounts as early as within three days of this getting signed into law. Now, we have heard that there is a slight delay in the House of Representatives, but that delay is not significant enough that it could throw off this schedule. So this still could be a possibility, but I'm gonna dive into an article today. I'm gonna get you caught up on what they're saying. We're gonna mark the calendars and we're gonna look at some video footage getting you caught up on the latest. So we're gonna dive right in, but before we do, if you could do me a quick favor, it'll just take a second. If you like and appreciate these video updates, why don't you go ahead and take a second to smash the like button. I would appreciate it. It helps out the channel. Like button, comments, and sharing these videos out to anybody that you think might be interested. It helps out my channel. Thank you so much. And also, if this is your first time here and you're not already a part of the viewing community, what I like to call the Ram Fam, and you like to join to stay up to date on stimulus, unemployment, the economy, Congress, anything having to do with investing or money, go ahead and smash that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that way you can stay up to date and get notified right away. And also, if you don't already, be sure to follow me on Instagram as well at steveram3 because I do my best to respond to as many questions here on YouTube as I can, but there's a lot, so I don't see them all, but... Instagram, if you got a question, is also a great way to get a hold of me as well. And also, you guys, always remember that here on YouTube, whenever I do respond, my comments will always have a gray stripe on the name. Now, if you see somebody that looks like me and you don't see that, please use caution because right now on YouTube, there's a lot of scammers and imposters creating fake accounts trying to pose as me, trying to steal your information. Listen, I'll never ask for your bank account information. Leave random phone numbers to an assistant that's going to try to sell you something like Bitcoin or something so if you see that, please use caution. I am here to get you caught up on the latest economic news. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and dive into these articles. Let's take a look at the calendar, look at this video footage, and get you caught up on the latest regarding the stimulus package and the stimulus checks. And one last thing before we dive in, we're gonna to get to it, I promise, but I just wanted to say there's been a lot of people asking me to create a Patreon page, which to be honest, I didn't even know what it was. So last night, I did some research, created a page, and I launched it. So if you'd like to join, I'll put a link in the description below, and I'll put an icon on the YouTube banner. And all it really is is a way for you to further support your favorite content creators with a monthly subscription. And in exchange, I'll go ahead and give you some exclusive behind the scenes access to the making of these YouTube videos. I'll let you know the articles before they even hit the YouTube channel. So <laughs> no obligation, but if you guys want to join, I'll go ahead and put that link for you. But now let's go ahead and dive into these articles on the stimulus. So let's go ahead and get started with this article that just came out this morning. Then we're gonna update our calendars and then we're gonna take a look at some video footage. So first off, a link in the description below to this article that just came out this morning if you'd like to follow along with me and it says, House gears up for vote on Biden's pandemic relief plan. The US House of Representatives is gearing up for a final vote on President Joe Biden's $1.9 trillion pandemic relief plan in an effort to send it to the White House to be signed into law later this week. Now, after the Senate passed its version of the bill over the weekend, the House had initially been expected to vote on the revised legislation Tuesday, which is today. That's what we had last heard. But now it appears the chamber is on track for a final vote Wednesday, tomorrow. So you guys, there is a slight delay. So House Speaker Nancy Pelosi told reporters a final vote will come Wednesday morning at the latest and that the timing depends on when they're able to get the bill back from the Senate, but there currently are no hangups on the legislation. So last we had heard it was gonna get passed on Tuesday, maybe Tuesday evening. Now they're saying it could go out till Wednesday morning, but we had heard that President Joe Biden would likely sign it the same day or he would sign it Wednesday. So if they pass it Wednesday morning, he still could sign sign it Wednesday. So uh, this is not going to cause a hiccup or a delay in the schedule, hopefully. Now, whatever unfolds, I'll be sure to keep you guys up to date here on the channel, but it looks like 
things could still move along as planned. Now, reading on the article says, it depends on when we get the papers from the Senate, Pelosi said on Monday. It has to be very precise, and it takes time to do that. It has some changes that they have to precisely write. It could be that we get it tomorrow afternoon, and then it has to go to rules, and we take it up Wednesday morning at the latest. So they're saying Wednesday is going to be the day, which is tomorrow. Now, also, the article says that a senior Democratic leadership aide told CNN that it will most likely take place on Wednesday. And we heard from Senate Majority Leader Steny Hoyer on Monday that the relief bill had not made its way back to the House yet. And he said, I talked to Leader Schumer and he said as soon as they could, they will have it ready. But it was complicated and they were working on it. So it looks like we're getting confirmation that it's going to be tomorrow. So with that being said, let's go ahead and update our calendars. So let's say that it passes in the House tomorrow, March the 10th. Then we see President Joe Biden sign it into law that same day. Well, we're hearing that stimulus checks, direct deposits will hit three days later. So the 11th, 12th, the 13th, Saturday, March the 13th, direct deposits could start hitting bank accounts. Now they're saying paper checks would come the following week. So March the 20th, checks would start hitting mailboxes. And on the 27th, the following week, they're saying those debit cards would start hitting as well. So it's very likely, just like we heard President Joe Biden say, that these stimulus checks will start hitting in the month of March. Now they do release them in waves. So some of them will very likely go out into April, but they're going to start the process here in March. And also just a reminder for unemployment, the current extension is set to expire on the 14th. Well, this new one would be enacted on the 10th if he signs it into law, meaning that it will start with no lapse on the 15th. Now for distribution, a lot of people have been asking, so when are they actually going to get it out? That's all again going to depend on your state, unfortunately. Hopefully they'll be able to do it and update their systems right away. So that way there's no delay. There will be no lapse, but there could be a slight delay as we saw with the last extension. But hopefully they'll be able to take care of that right away. And the child tax credit, a lot of people were asking about that. If that's enacted, it's set to start July. So that's gonna be further down the road, but that's updating our current calendars. But now let's go ahead and hear some video footage regarding the package, what we can expect to see, and a little bit more about what's to come as well. So let's go ahead and dive right in. President Biden vowing to sign that COVID relief bill within days. As soon as I get it. The president promising millions of Americans will begin seeing those direct payments this month. So what's it mean for you? A family of four making $68,000 a year with children ages five and eight will get a check totaling $5,600, as well as child tax credit payments of $550 a month. Individuals earning up to $75,000 and couples making up to $150,000 will get those $1,400 checks before they phase out. Angela Redamoza of California has relied on unemployment benefits since losing her newspaper job last year. It's a godsend. It's hard to have to stress about it every time they sign a bill or, you know, when they're voting on anything because um, you just sit there and pray that they're going to make things work. Federal unemployment benefits set to expire this weekend will remain in place $300 a week through Labor Day. The massive bill also directing hundreds of billions of dollars to state and local governments and to schools facing intensifying pressure to reopen, plus billions more for vaccine distribution. Critics say the bill goes too far, including funds for local infrastructure projects, arts organizations, and environmental issues. 90% of it's got nothing to do with COVID. Republicans united against it also argue $1.9 trillion is too costly and could add to the national debt, especially after large relief packages last year that had support from both parties. Democrats are brushing off criticism that no Republican lawmaker voted for the bill, pointing to polls that show Americans widely support it. So there you guys have it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below as we're hearing that this is going to be happening today or tomorrow. Now, if it happens today ahead of schedule, I'll be sure to hop on and let you guys know right away. So that way you're caught up on the latest regarding the package and the checks. And once again, you guys, if you made it this far and you haven't already, be sure to smash the like button. I would appreciate it. It helps out the channel. Join the Patreon page if you're interested, but no obligation. And be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to stay up to date on everything rolling out. And be sure to follow me on Instagram as well at Steve Ram 3. Well, you guys, I hope this was helpful and informative. I'll be sure to keep you up to date here on the channel. Take care. God bless. This is Steve.